Hi everybody, it's been a while since I was taking a look at NLEs, but you know, I've been busy with work and you gotta pay the bills first. So here we are taking a look at it a couple months later and not, well, hey, nothing's changed, unfortunately. I think we were all hoping that Apple would be delivering some new pro level machines that didn't exist, so it kind of forced me into doing an upgrade that I wasn't expecting to do, and that is that I upgraded the CPUs in my Mac Tower to 3.4 gigahertz 6-core Xenons. It wasn't too hard to do, but it was still a little bit tricky, and the end result is I have a pretty nice, faster machine. I added the Titan X graphics card, and right now I can sit on this machine for a while. It's, it chews through 4K without a problem. So where do we go from here? Well, certainly I've been very seriously looking at building a PC, uh, a fairly beefy one, and the question has been Linux or Windows. Um, they're both fine. And did I say that? Did I really say that? Yeah, I did. Windows 10 is, is I could make friends with it if I had to. It doesn't mean I'd like it, but I could get past it. Anyway. The really hard part about switching to PC is the lack of choice. Uh, you've got Adobe, you've got Media Composer, light works. Well, it might work for a few folks, but it doesn't work for me. Edius, nah, just no. Vegas, I know people who love it, who think it's the greatest thing in the world, but it's just too weird for me. So what does that really leave? Um, there's nothing. There's nothing that you can really buy. Uh, and just own it. Everybody wants to be on the stupid subscriptions. So you may have to just bite the bullet and do the Adobe thing, or I don't know. Oh, and the other NLE I looked at, and it's not one that really comes to mind, is Nuke Studio. Uh, really pricey at 10 grand, at least list price. And I crashed it within the first 15 minutes importing an XML and just scrubbing around and trying to do a couple simple edits in it. So that really wasn't particularly impressive for the price that they're asking for. Now, of course, it's a legendary compositing tool and you could do all sorts of crazy stuff with it, but if you can't do basic editing in it, well, then what's the point, especially at that price point? So I'm really not sure what the answer is, and it's very frustrating. So time will tell exactly where I'm going to wind up. Now on Mac, I've been doing a lot more work in Final Cut X simply because it's stable. It works. I start it up. I don't worry about, is it going to blow up on me so far? Um, it's proven to be really reliable working on really large projects. So that's a gigantic benefit to me. Premiere 2017 seems to really be a pretty good release, but I've had a few crashes and other issues with it, probably related to project size, so I've been looking for some more obscure weird bugs. For example, I had had an online conversation with a couple friends of mine who are also professional editors, and one of the things we touched on was power supplies. Is the power supply in the machine, because of its age, not being able to really maintain under load? For example, when you hit something that's CPU and disk drive intense at the same time, the power supply basically gets overloaded and glitches. So that could be the source of my mysterious crashing. I don't know. I've changed the machine. I haven't spent enough time with it. I'm also pulling the drives out of the machine to lighten the load on the power supply and putting them in an external eSATA case because they actually already have an external eSATA card in the machine. So that ought to lighten up the load on the CPU significantly. The Titan X graphics card is rated at about 250 watts draw and is supposed to be safe to run with the native internal power supply without adding in anything extra. Well, we're going to see. Um, I've been running for a few days, and we'll see how this sorts out. So that's where I'm at. I haven't made a move per se. I've beefed up my Mac to keep it viable for a while, and I'm pretty happy with it so far. And I need to look at what my Linux and Win 10 options are, because they're really there just isn't anything anymore. It's, it's very weird because 10 years ago we had lots of choices. We had lots of competition and things really seem to have shrunk up. And I just feel very limited. For example, I'd really like to run Smoke, but they only rent it to you now. Um, it's twice the price of Creative Cloud and it only runs on Mac. So I'm very limited there because 
I'm not going to get into running a piece of software that costs eighteen or sixteen hundred dollars a year on a Hackintosh, which is a totally unsupported config, and then have problems and I can't get work done. So that's where I'm at. Uh, I really haven't come that far, so check in with me again. Uh, I'm going to be doing something again. I probably figure in another month or two as a sort of status update. I'm playing around with the new Final Cut 10.3, which I really seem to be liking a lot, and we'll see where it goes. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to say, we could look at Resolve. Resolve is very interesting because they're constantly improving it, really working on the editing aspect of the application. And that might be another option that I consider if they do some things with audio and a few other things right now, um, just make the interface faster and more responsive. So that's where I'm at and we'll see you soon and I'll let you know how things turned out. 